Hello everyone and welcome back to the Real Family Adventures Transformers Trading Card Game Edition. Run by yours truly, the Real Adventure Daddy, the hardcore Transformers fan himself. Alright, now remember, I did promise a while ago that I was going to um, do the uh, do the basic, well not basics, but the advanced version of the game. So you can um, show your family. So we're going to take it nice and slow. Because like I've said before, this is not a channel for hardcore gaming, for hardcore trading card gaming. I'm going to take it nice and slow so you can play with your family. And if it feels like uh, it's still overwhelming, don't be afraid to take a step back. That is all right. All right. <clears throat> so some of the things I've realized, though, um, <laughs> is that this, the, showing you how to play the more advanced version is a little difficult by myself, so I have recruited my wife to help me out. Hello. All right. I so, am here. Yes, she to... is. <laughs> yes, she is. So anyway, what she's going to do is she's going to help me help show what it's like when, they, when you first start taking turns. All right, now there's all sorts of stuff that you have to do. However, we'll just, like I said, we take this thing one step at a time, so we're just, you're just gonna see how we start. In the next video, we'll cover how, how to equip utilities uh, and armors and things like that, and how to take it, and when to take actions. Or how, what happens when you do take actions, is what I wanted to, wanted to say. All right, so, when the game first starts out, you lay out the bots that you wanna play as. You can see I have my triple, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I was gonna put my triple bumblebee because I have all three of them. But instead, I accidentally put red alert, but that's okay. <laughs> oh that's goodness. okay. I want to be all cool and have my three, like, cool bumblebees, but that's all right. Uh, <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyway, so, uh, and this is this is the custom deck I'm working on for my wife here. She wants to be Decepticon, specifically Shockwave. Yes. So I'm building a deck around, for her around that, at least until we get Slipstream, because that's what she really wants. Yes. yes. Um, so that's, so let's, uh, let's get into it. So, once you have the characters laid out, which, remember... You can only have up to 25 star costs. You can have less than 25 stars, but you can't go over. All right, and there's all sorts of strategies even to that too, if you guys, if anyone has seen anything about Wave 2. All right, so once you have your cards laid out, you have your decks shuffled, all right, and put wherever they're comfortable at. Usually, they're traditionally, you'll see the decks are on the right side, uh, but people have personal preferences. If you feel stronger putting the deck somewhere else, then you can go ahead and do that. Just make sure it is visible by your opponent. All right, and then you draw three cards, which we already did. All right, now you can roll the dice to see who goes first. And uh, actually, make sure I have my dice ready for me here, just in case. You guys can roll the dice or choose rock, paper, scissors, or however you want to choose who goes first. It doesn't matter, um, especially because, you know, this isn't any kind of pro play, so it just shows however method, whatever method you're more comfortable with. And then that person goes first. So for the sake of argument, I'm going to go first. Now, whoever goes first, you're going to go ahead and draw a card. However, they do not play an action or an upgrade during their turn. Now, if you need to look that up, um, I will be talking about those in more detail, but I also talked in one of my previous videos, so go ahead and I'll look into those and actions, cards, and upgrade cards. Because it's my first turn, I am not allowed to do so. I can only draw the card. At which point, I choose one of my characters. Now, what I can do is transform one of them or leave them and then attack with one of them. So I'm looking at my cards. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to peek a little bit, because I want to double check my uh, other Bumblebee's abilities. This is okay to do. I'm pretty sure even in tournament rules this would be okay, but right now we're playing casual anyway, so sometimes you got to remind yourself, because there's a lot of text on these guys, so sometimes you got to remind yourself uh, what the text says. So maybe you want to check real quick, and then put them back down. Let's go check real quick. What's my text like? Uh, and then decide from there what I want to do. So... Think about my abilities. I'm going to go ahead and flip this Bumblebee. And you'll find out why in a moment. Because you notice that it says here, he has tough one whenever he's in battle. And if you remember when we were talking about tough, tough means you get to flip an extra card while defending. And you're going to find out why. Now that I have Bumblebee out, now remember, I cannot play any actions or upgrades. All I can do is attack. And I choose to attack with this card that I just flipped. All right, now the next question is, can I flip any card and then attack with any card? Yes. You can flip one bum, uh, one of the other cards and then attack with this card if you so choose. Especially if that card might have an effect that could help out. Maybe they give Pierce, maybe they give Bold, things like that to think about. But don't think about that too much because like I said, we're doing the basics right here. So, I attack with Bumblebee. Now, because, because there are no cards tapped on my opponent's side, I can choose who I want to attack. That's very, very important. On the first attack, you choose who you can attack, but not afterwards, and you'll find out why in a moment. So, looking at uh, my enemies, surveying them, 
I look for the, the weakest one. And it looks like Ransack here, with a life of 8 and a defense of 2, is my best target. So I'm going to declare, I'm attacking Ransack, and then I'm going to do the whole flippity thing. So there's like, wow, look at that double orange right there. Wow, look at that, two double orange. Why Because I, I, these decks aren't shuffled. I just put them together so they're not shuffled. <laughs> wow, that's, that's actually no a really deal. good thing there. You got two doubles. Oh it would be if these, if these, if, if for the fact that I, I literally, I'm literally cheating. So, because <laughs> these decks, like oh. I said, have not been shuffled. I, uh, when, when the last time you guys saw was when I was doing that, my grand opening, I spent the rest of the night just putting decks together and I actually haven't taken the time to shuffle them pretty well. So, um, so, so I would be attacking and then you would defend. Oh, I defend. I right. pick two cards, or no, I yep, pick two cards. Oh, I got nothing. No. Well, you got a white. Remember oh, what white yeah. means? Wow, you I get forgot. to draw. You get to do oh, another uh, one more card. One more. That was two. Is it two more? It is two. I'm sorry. My apologies. See, I know this game better. My apologies. Oh, and I have nothing. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. All right. No. Except that it, this is a mock battle, so that's not yeah, a big deal. I know, but still, even in this again. <laughs> All right, oh, so then okay. Ransack would take damage. Uh, whatever I've added up here, let's not worry about it, though, because mm -hmm. it's not what it's about. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, then... So go ahead and hit me. <laughs> so you go ahead and put your stuff in your discard pile. Wherever you want to put your discard pile, I usually put it behind my main deck. I just put it right over here. And I always do, I always do the cards face up. I forget why. It was, a, it was a tradition I learned from other card gamers. Uh, discard piles. Oh wait, no, it's because you can... There are cards that have you shuffling through your, your discard pile, so I think it's actually useful for that. Um, okay, so now my turn is over. It is now the second player's turn. Now, the second player can go ahead and draw a card. However, keep in mind, this is still the beginning of the game. So, they can only play either one utility... Excuse me, I'm sorry, either one upgrade or one action. Now, since she chose to do an action, she cannot play an upgrade. However, she can go and attack. Now, remember, the first thing I did, I picked whoever I could attack because nobody was tapped on the enemy side. However, because Bumblebee is tapped, she, my opponent, has to focus on Bumblebee because he's tapped. Now, she's going to choose who she wishes to attack with. Mm, I guess... Barrage? Should I? Or should I not? Actually, no, what am I saying? Shockwave. Oh, don't forget, you can also transform. What does that mean again? You can flip them. Oh. oh Remember, yeah. that's something to keep in mind. Always check your cards. There might be an ability that could help you out if you mm -hmm. decide to flip them first. Or it might just give you a flat increase in damage. You could. <laughs> Alright, no, I'm going to stick with this side. Okay, so what you're going to do is go ahead and, you're, and so you, your opponent taps to oh, attack. Right, tap. Now, remember what I was saying earlier, the reason I transformed Bumblebee. And the reason why I chose him first is because I knew whoever I had tapped is going to get focused down. So, I flipped him and I got the tough one. So, when I defend, go ahead and attack. Oh, what about one? That's it, one. All right. <laughs> Which means I get tough one. Seven. Hmm. All right, now, none of that was any good. But like mm -hmm. I said, this is a mock battle anyway. The deck needs to get shuffled. Um, mm -hmm. However... That's that was me planning ahead. I was planning ahead for that tough one, and now Shockwave is tapped. Once that's done, all of the normal rules rules of the game apply. You're going to draw a card, like so. It's my turn, so I'm going to go ahead and draw a card. Give me a deck and make sure you guys can see that. I'm going to draw a card. I can play an action or an upgrade, and I have several right here. So I might, I might do. Uh... Oh, I just realized this is my Dinobot deck. So, can't use that card. So I'm going to do Energon Axe. Actually, uh, Bumblebee has, uh, is already damaged, so I'll put it on him. You notice I'm not using my dice because it's not really important to take, keep track of damage because it's not a real game. So, since I, I know I would have a damaged character, I put my Energon Axe right there. And maybe I'll play Supercharge. Like I said, one, at, one action, one upgrade. Mm -hmm. That's going to give me more bold. Here, there, there's that bold three, so I get to flip three more cards. Energon actually gives me Pierce too. We can look at old videos and see how that works. Alright. Actually, here's the thing. I almost forgot. You uh, Once you tap your characters, this is me messing up. However, you need to tap all of your characters that attack with them before before the, the turn ends. So I can't just keep hitting with Bumblebee. I need to choose one of my other ones. So, I'm going to go ahead and look just like I did before. Alright, so 
What it might do is, uh, because Red Alert, once I flip him, he can, he's going to have that 5 attack within 0 defense. So what it might do is flip this Bumblebee, like that. Please supercharge on him, because remember, still have that one. And then I'll swing with him. Now, Shockwave is the only one that's tapped, so I can't choose like I did before. I can only hit Shockwave. So I hit Shockwave, and I got that full 3 because of Supercharge, which I only play once, and then it goes in a discard pile, so I go 1, 2, extra 3. 1, 2, 3. You know, <laughs> like I said, deck needs to be shuffled, but you know, if you do get a white, that will still count, which means you will still get two more. Mm -hmm. Look how many I'm getting. You probably can't see. I think I'm off the camera already. <laughs> but anyway, we just go like this. Look at the nickards! Look at this. Look at those double pips right there. Yes. Awesome. But anyway, so yeah, this can happen. I've actually mentioned this before. Actually, give me the cameras over here. <laughs> so this can happen. This can absolutely happen. And you'll go swinging in for like a bajillion hit points. All right. Then it goes to my opponent's hand, who now has two targets that they can they can they can go for. So my opponent is gonna draw a card. Okay, now just like me, my opponent can play an action and an upgrade and transform their character and then attack. However, you need to attack with Ransack and Barrage because Shockwave already had his turn. Alright, so what you can do is you can play this action and flip these two. And then you can play utility that or, or scrap out because these are upgrades. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to put this Scrapper Gauntlets on one of your characters. All right, so my enemy is going to utilize right. Scrapper Gauntlets. No, someone you're attacking with. Oh. Actually, you could you could put it on on Shockwave if you want to give them extra defense. Maybe maybe you will. Maybe uh, although these other guys have lower defense than Shockwave. Oh wait, you're right. So maybe let's put it let's maybe we'll put it on uh, Barrage. We'll put on Barrage. And here's the interesting thing: she doesn't have to attack Barrage because as soon as it comes out. She can, she can use that as, utilize that scrap ability. So scrap an enemy weapon. I have a weapon right here that gets scrapped. And right, let's say that she used an action, so roll out. Her characters both transform. Oh, okay. So you say I can do an upgrade and an action? Yes. Okay. We can do upgrade and an action. All right, and then she decides to swing with one. Now, Ransack, since he has uh, his special abilities, he has no damage this turn. So she's going to go ahead and attack with Barrage. She chooses who she wants. Who do you want to target? This guy or this guy? Um, I don't know. Well, that one. Let's say this one. So yeah. I still get my tough one. So I'm going to go and flip three cards instead of two. While oh, you just flip two. Okay, so seven. Yeah, seven. I have seven. Yes. All right. And I would, I would actually have no defense because, like I said, no, I have not shuffled these decks. All right. Now, that's what it looks like on a full turn. And yeah, you do need to keep a close eye on what the on what your cards say. If you notice, we still have one character each that isn't tapped. What's going to happen is we're going to keep repeating what we just did. So it goes back to my turn. I draw a card. I play either a I play an action and you and a upgrade, whichever I want, whichever I think suits me. Uh, a flamethrower. Uh, does it still, like I said, I can't use because this is my Dinobot deck. I don't know why I brought up my Dinobot deck, but whatever. And then I would swing with Red Alert, deciding whether I want to transform him or not, or transform one of my other bots. It's another thing. Remember, you can, you can transform. So I might transform Bumblebee instead of Red Alert and get that Pierce. Keep that in mind. Although that means I'd have to sacrifice getting that, uh, that five attack. So, you know, grab a conversion. Where are you? Anyway, so I would go ahead and do that. I would attack, and all my characters would be tapped. However, I can only attack either Barrage or Shockwave. I think he's out of the shot now, but anyway, that's okay. Then the next turn, Ransack would attack, doing the exact same thing. You draw a card, play either play an action and a utility. I'm sorry, an action or an upgrade, oh, great, yeah. and an upgrade. Why do I always say it like that? Any one of the three upgrades. Then, uh, then Ransack would tap and attack. Probably transform back so you can actually have an attack. And then just go. All right. Now, you can't do anything else until everyone is tapped. Once everyone is tapped and everyone has had a turn, everybody resets. So after Ransack attacked, and after I took my damage and I rolled my dice, or not rolled my dice, but you know, drew my cards, I would then untap my characters and 
My opponent would untap the characters as well, and we'd start from the beginning. I would pick someone to attack with first. I would play my action and utility, uh, action and, and upgrade. Why do I say it like that? Action my, my action and my upgrade, and I would choose who to attack. Then I would be tapped once again. And then, only, and then at that point, only tapped characters can be targeted, and it goes through the same process. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. Untap. And you keep doing this until all of your enemies have been destroyed. Now, quick FAQ. What if you, you have one character has, one player has more characters than the other? Like, if I have two versus a three. I go this, I go this, no, I go, well... Excuse me. This, no, this, then this, then this, then this. Do I get to untap? No. You better make sure that you have a well, well rounded out roster, because uh, you definitely don't want to be in a point where the person, your enemy, is going to get an extra turn, because that's what's going to happen. Oh, I see. Okay. If mm. if your opponent manages to eliminate one of your characters early on while still having all of theirs, then they are going to get an extra turn. You tap, they tap. You tap, they tap. You're done. They tap. That's an extra attack you can't do anything about. Just something to keep in mind. Now, there are some big heavy hitter cards that are actually built to be two-man decks, and those things are kind of different. Like if, uh, like if the double prime deck, which is Optimus Prime and Nemesis Prime, they're very big characters with a very big health, with very big health pools. Um, so you definitely don't want to be in that kind of position with characters that are in like three wide, uh, you know, three wide decks, or what they say, um, you know, three-man or four-man rosters, because obviously they're going to be too frail, so just something to keep in mind. And also just keep in mind when the, uh, you basically keep going with the decks, uh, either drawing for personal use or for attacks, until it runs out. Unlike in other card games, where running out of the deck means you automatically lose, all you do is take your discard pile, take your discard pile, and reshuffle it into, into a brand new deck. And then you start over again. The game is not over until all of your opponent's characters have been eliminated. No matter how many times, you might have to reshuffle your deck in order to in order to do that. Any questions? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I, I forgot to point out. Look at my cool new map. I don't know you guys can see it that well, but I got this new... Uh, actually, it's not that new. It's it's uh, from 2014. So who knows what kind of card game was going on back then. I'm pretty sure it was something else. But this is really cool. Transformers map. It's totally awesome. Um, I thought you had two. Transformers mats? No, I thought you had two. You didn't get two? No. Oh. I only have this one, and I have two kaijudos. I have two kaijudos. Well, the kaijudos this, yeah, too, but... this one, my fi the fire uh, infernus, who's like the king of the fire it civilization. Cool. And yeah, like, the other one's an sure. undead dragon. Cool. See? It's a dragon. Yeah, which has nothing to do with Transformers, by the way. But, so still yes, cool. Cool dragons. Anyway, so, that, so that's pretty much it. Um, next episode, we will talk about the... Um, how how to equip, equip the items, the utilities, the armors and weapons. How to how to equip them, when to equip them, and how to use them, so on and so forth. Like I said, we'll do this one step at a time. That yeah. does it from us here. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Oh, well, this is fun. I learned. Yes, yeah, so she of, learned a bit. I kind of forgot some stuff, and I learned a little bit more. Yay! Yeah. Anyway, that's mm -hmm. so that's it. So I will see you guys in the next adventure. Bye.